Hi, Air Science, Jamila Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out who's thinking heavily about you right now and why. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me who's thinking heavily about Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius right now and why. Please show me more. Oh, this person loves you because we've got the Knight of Cups here. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus. I'm seeing Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Again, doesn't really matter. This person can be any sign, but definitely one here. <laughs> Knight of Cups. This person has romantic feelings for you. The Hierophant. They could be thinking heavily in regards of uh, a lot of things that they have learned from you or lessons that they have learned uh, because of the Ten of Swords and Love first. Maybe it's lessons that they've learned from your hurt and pain, whether it has something to do with this person or not, or it could have something to do with uh, a separation between two of you. I feel like this is somebody you are or were romantically involved. Hmm. So we've got the Seven of Wands here in Love First, Knight of Pentacles in Love First, and the Chariot in Love First. This person is thinking like uh, they are kind of stuck right now. It feels like they would like to reach out to you with the Knight of Pentacles and Lovers and the King of Pentacles and Lovers, but this person thinks that you have already blocked them or refused to talk with them. You may have um, let this person go, no longer fight for this connection or fight for this person. You may have wanted some time to be alone, two of swords here. Again, roles can be reversed, yeah, unless they are the ones who may have cut you off, but at the same time, they're still thinking heavily about you right now, okay? And also we've got the four wands in love first. Looks like maybe, Carly, you and this person's connection is a very rocky or it could indicate a separation. Hmm. But two of swords can also be an indication of an indecision, right? They could be thinking heavily in regards of a, de a decision that they would like to make or offer to you because the cards when they're in love first it could be an indication of a delay as well so there could be a delay of them taking uh, actions with you or offering you something that perhaps you would want from them but they're still thinking about it right as a higher find here for me they may be seeking for some counseling seeking for some advice from somebody as well so this person i feel like whoever who who has been giving them advice, they could be thinking long and hard in regards to those advice too. And of course, it has something to do with you, right? But let's see more Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But definitely, that, um, I definitely see the two swords here and King of Pentacles and Romans, the four ones and Romans. There's someone here whom you were in a relationship with, but this person may have lied or cheated, or that they may have financial issues, or that they're just not stable in some way, shape, or form. This person is also thinking heavily about you. They, this may be a completely different person. You may have multiple people here. I feel like this could be an ex. Yep, this is somebody whom mm, couldn't give you what you want, or it's just either lazy or... <laughs> can be anything, right? Because the Knight of Pentacles and Lovers and the King of Pentacles and Lovers can be either laziness or that they're just not stable or that they just can't give you whatever that you want. It could be in, um, stability, it could be loyalty, commitment, marriage, can be any of these things. <clears throat> I definitely see this person is thinking heavily about you right now. Either they have blocked you or you could have blocked them. Yeah. But also, this may be the same person, right, with the Knight of Cups here. This person may still have romantic feelings for you. And the higher front is a marriage card. It may be an indication that perhaps you were married to this person or could have talked about the marriage, a marriage, could have been engaged, serious relationship. But I don't see this person as somebody you would just that you just had a fling with. It's definitely somebody you were uh, in at least a serious relationship with in the past. Could be currently too. Because Ten of Swords, even though it can be an indication of an ending, but it's also just 
in Minor Arcana. So it could be a temporary setback, a temporary pause, a temporary break. <laughs> okay. Stay what resonates with you. Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, and also we've got the Eight of Pentacles here. For a lot of you, maybe you're just focusing on your work and you have already walked away from this person. And Queen of Wands, you do whatever that. Uh, that you desire, that you're passionate about. So they could be thinking heavily in regards of your drive as well, how driven you are, how beautiful you are, how attractive you are, and how hardworking you are. Mm -hmm. and we've got the high priestess in reverse, justice in reverse, and the temperance here. This person is thinking heavily in regards of wanting to make peace with you, wanting harmony with you, because justice here is in reverse. Something was kind of lopsided. Um, something is imbalanced here. So this person may be thinking heavily in regards of the separation as well. Just as some of us can indicate that all that maybe they did, they didn't treat you fairly and that could have led you to walk in away from them. And now they're realizing it with a higher front here. I feel like some people could be telling them they did something wrong too, okay? Uh, could be friends, could be family. I'm hearing preach. Somebody could be preaching to them. Um, in regards, you know, just telling them what they did was wrong and that makes them reflect and that makes them think a lot about you as well. And they know that they love you for sure. And the high priestess and love verse also can be an indication of either information being revealed, secrets being revealed, um, in regards of something here, justice and love verse could have something to do with somebody either is married to somebody else or wasn't again faithful because the three cards here that indicate unfaithfulness or again it could be instability in some way shape or form or doesn't want to commit can be any of these things but i just feel like this person is thinking heavily in regards of you know they need to be good now they need to be good to you now and it, they could be working on it with the eight of pentacles here they could be working on themselves working on it in hopes to heal this connection with you but not taking any action so if they have taken if this person has been taking actions towards you uh and you block them to a source you don't just don't want to hear it they could be thinking heavily in regards of you know how what should i do <laughs> what should i do perhaps i need to be patient here with the temperance card and just focus on my work hmm. that's just for some of you okay take what resonates with you let's see more King of Cups in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody you may have stopped waiting already. Uh, someone you may have, again, cut off, and you just feel like it's going to be a waste of my time to wait for this person. Uh, I definitely sense an energy of Five of Wands in reverse. I just don't need this drama. Um, I need my peace with the Temperance here and with the King of Cups and Love first. This is somebody whom at one point in time may have been emotionally unavailable or emotionally unstable. And that's a lot of instability that I'm getting here in regards to this person, right? Either they don't know what they want or that they just that they could be going through some emotional issues or financial issues. There are some issues here I feel like um, could be could be the cause of the separation or that both of you could be uh, may not be on good terms yeah but i feel like this person is definitely thinking about making peace with you right and expressing to you how they feel because the king cups in my can indicate a king whom is doesn't matter king or queen again not gender specific but this person is thinking like heavily in regards of you know maybe i should pour my heart out to gemini libra and aquarius maybe i should just put my guards down um, be vulnerable and they're thinking about also how vulnerable they are uh, when it comes to you but I'm I'm happy to see the Knight of Cups in the upright position though that means this person is finally getting themselves together it feels like they've been working on themselves and they're thinking heavily in regards of you know perhaps it is time for them to reach out to you or to offer you love but there's a lot of delay because all the cards here are in love and also we've got the two of swords Unless this person has been actually trying to reach out to you, but you just couldn't be bothered or that you could have cut this person off. But they've done some work on themselves. I definitely see that. But I see a lot of you may may not have such a good perception of this person to begin with, okay? It feels like they were, again, either unavailable, going through a lot of issues, could be finances, could be stability. 
lack of stability, lack of commitment. Yeah, I definitely see that. And also, we've got the star here in reverse. This is somebody who could have hurt you so badly to a point that you still find it really hard to either forgive or forget. Let's see a bit more. Yeah, this is somebody you see as like a, the devil, right? Somebody who is very toxic in your life. Um, and that maybe you could have decided enough is enough. Yeah, you could have decided enough is enough. But this person is thinking heavily about you because they still can't connect from, disconnect from you, right? They're still tied to you. They still feel this bond with you, no matter how unhealthy it is. They're still obsessed over you, King of Wands. This person may be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So you've got the King and the Queen here, okay? So this person still wants you, still desires you, but they may have, like, <laughs> a lot of stuff going on, right? Could be bad habits, addiction, could be lying, cheating, um, could be emotional issues as well, depression, anything that I think is unhealthy. You know what? I was in a relationship with somebody who um, had these, um, has somebody who has these issues, um, they're very insecure, this person is actually the one I used to be in a relationship with, <laughs> was very insecure, and um, also they have a lot of all these other issues like depression and all of that, and I found it really, really hard to be in a relationship with him, and we've broken up many times and gone back together, but eventually, you know, I said, enough is enough. <laughs> don't try and come back anymore because I'm not going to take you back again. So I feel like for some of you, this could be um, something that is similar. It could be some. It could be like a connection that was on and off, just really, really unhealthy, breaking up and coming back, breaking breaking up and then reconciling. But anyway, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. This video... I just posted it two days ago, and I'm in London right now. I went on a uh, cruise called the City Cruise on uh, River Thames, and it's so beautiful. Um, it was a beautiful experience for me, <laughs> for my friend, my childhood friend. Check it out if you want to. If not, it's fine, too. I'm going to leave you also with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions, but they're still valid readings because they're still new. As you guys know, I post the videos very, very frequently, so check it out. There could be some other important messages for you over there. It's, uh, I believe it says Today X. Uh, almost daily love readings, click on it, scroll all the way down, look for your sign. And I'm open <clears throat> for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. All right, take care. Bye.